What's up, guys? Trick Diggers coming to you Thursday evening or afternoon. Me and Corey Wellens is back out here behind the 1860s house that uh, you seen the last video. And uh, check this out. Corey's laying the walls out right behind the uh, 1890s privy we just dug with our buddy Sean, where that rare O.M. Haynes whiskey flask came from. You can see it's... It looks fairly deep, yep. Definitely a stone liner. Another big stone liner. Hopefully it's just a little bit earlier than the one we just dug right up here in the front. We're gonna find out. Our buddy Sean's on the way. Uh, so we're gonna just start laying the plugs out and hopefully this is gonna be a good dig. All right guys, stay tuned for the action. Let's get it. Guys, we're down in the stone liner pulling out some big pieces of bones and stuff so far we got two bottles we got an ac meyer from baltimore blown in mold and a slick druggist blown in mold around turn of the century and then right down in here we're just working got something some kind of bottle in the hole right here let's go ahead and get it what is that hold the camera here. pickle is that what that is yeah, it looks like a caper's barely pickle says Heinz Brothers and Company. Yeah, it. that's the early Heinz Capers. Nice. Yeah, 1890s, maybe 80s. Heinz Capers, guys. So bottles are coming out, not a ton of them, but decent age. That's it. See you back. Guys, Corey's turning in the hole, and look what he just popped out. A real nice crotal bell. How about that? In the privy hole. You know that's early. Let's hear it for the first time. Yeah, let's hear it. However many years it is. That's really neat, man. First time in 110 years. Yeah. A crotal belt. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get the dirt out. Get the dirt out. Jeez, All right, that's so cool. Ready? <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Look yeah, at guys, a working crotal bell in the privy hole. That is so cool. That is so neat. Check that out, guys. We'll show it better at cleanup, but in really good shape, too. Really neat crotal bell. Heck, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to keep at it. See you back. Corey's still down in the hole, guys. And we got a bottle in the hole. Right there. He ain't it's sure what it is, side. but he says he thinks it might be amber. It's that thing. Right, man. Cool. Piece of coal. Ready? Yeah. It's big, I think. Here it comes. What is it? Oh, a beautiful whiskey bottle. Check that out. It's a slender. Right? Oh, it's early. It's, it's not embossed? No, but it's early. Heck yeah. That's a nice cylinder. Oh, it's early, dude. It's, uh, Check that out, guys. It's, oh, it's 70s, I bet. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice applied lip. Cool. Let me see it. That must be the whiskey, man. 1870s That's whiskey, guys, in the hole. Check that out. Right behind the crotal bell. Nice, brother, man. All right. And crotal bells are usually like Civil War. See you back on the next pull, guys. Yeah, the crotal bell, I believe, is Civil War period. See you on the next pool. Check this out, guys. Trav just pulled this broken jar up, and uh, we were checking it out. It is a... I don't think there's any embossing on that piece. Here's the pieces with embossing on them. What's up, bud? Find anything good? couple things, not too much. It is a... Collins at a Wheeling, that's, West Virginia you jar. Bet you didn't have a bunch of old dirt to throw in that hole. That's some kind of good luck. I know, that's there. what that's what the homeowner Collins and Harmon or Shearman or something. Dirt. You know this yeah, it'd have been a nice one. Get back All right, here. Trav hollered at me. Said he's got a mason jar in the home, and we just pulled that Wheeling jar out. So uh, fingers crossed, guys. Yeah, that this is a Wheeling. Crossed. 
My gosh. Look underneath of it. Iron sand? Yeah. Some kind of pot or something in there. Right on the wall, too. I mean, the wall's right here. There's the jar. There's another bottle right beside it. See that, Corey? Mm -hmm. Pickle jar? Yeah. Right off the bottom. I think that plate's full, too, maybe. Soap dish? No, that plate's not full, but... Here comes the jar. Come on, baby. Oh, oh man. It's a magic. It's a magic? Yeah, it looks like it. No, it, it ain't. ain't. What is that? It says Brighton. What? What in the world? Brighton. I have no idea. But that is a really neat jar right there. I've never in my life seen that one before. Mm -hmm. Check that out, guys. Yeah. That, uh, that is nice. That's that probably, is really cool. That took the old wire uh, closure on yeah, it. Yeah, it had a, gla yeah. It had a uh, glass seal, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and then a wire closure. You're right. Yeah. All right. Brighton. Yes, sir. Never heard of that. No, I don't know anything about it. Is it clear? I think it is clear. All right, guys. Awesome. All right, Trav has this other bottle down here beside the jar. Let me get down here and extract it. I think it's just a pickle, guys, but it could be embossed. Here it comes. Fairly large one. No embossing. Oh, it's got a little lip chip, but it's a Heinz. Another Heinz. It says patented April 1882. 1882, right there. Nice big old pickle. <laughs> big pickle. See you guys back if anything else comes out. All right, Trav's down here. Has another bottle up under this overhang. Right here, guys. It Some kind of too. a square. Uh, yeah, another big cool. pickle. Yep, same kind, too. Yep, another Heinz 1882. This one's mint condition, it looks like. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, bottle's coming out. I'm going to let Corey finish it up. See you guys back. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Unless Corey pulls something out the very last little section. You can see we pulled a lot of rocks out of here. A ton of rocks. Around 1870s, 1880s, we think this hole was. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. We've got another one over there where Sean's at. And then we have another one. You can kind of see the layout right here in the front. So this was the middle one. So either the back one or the front one's going to be the oldest for sure. We still have yet to find the Pondle Pit. So hopefully uh, one of these is it tomorrow. Here's some really nice stuff that came out. You remember that shaker we dug from Wheeling? This is kind of related to that. It's got that hobnail design on it. Real, real pretty, almost puce in color. I'll hang on to these shards. Somebody wants to make something out of them. We got some transfer wear, some cups. A real nice piece of a salt glazed crock. Something about Easton and company or something. Uh wholesale wholesale dealer in drugs it says that's a cool little piece this is definitely the crier of the day right here guys my gosh that would have been an exceptional find it's a uh collins and chapman fruit jar out of wheeling west virginia there's the top of it super super early of course you've seen the 1870s Beautiful whiskey cylinder. Check that out. A couple big pickle jars. A nice 1880s Brighton fruit jar in real good condition. Slick blob, slug plate. Earlier rolled lip pickle. Drinking glass. We did end up with one pipe bowl and a, about four or five pipe stems. Got a nice clay, 
a little bit bigger than a regular marble, but not quite a shooter. Um, of course, the crotal bell, really nice find there. Smaller size crotal bell. The AC Meyer, Baltimore slick druggist, and a sperm sewing machine oil is our take today, guys. You got a pipe bowl? Do you? And Corey just popped the pipe bowl out. At the last little bit, toss it up here. Oh, I missed it. Yeah. Another pipe bowl right there at the end of the hole. Just another TD. No designs on it, but still cool to find those old pieces of history. So two pipe bowls and about a dozen bottles today. Not a bad take. 1870s, 1880s hole. Hopefully the pond one's tomorrow, but that's going to do it. We got about maybe 20 minutes of light left to get this hole filled in, put the plug back, and roll out. Plus, it's supposed to start raining in about 20 minutes. Pretty heavy, too. So, All right, guys. We are out of here. See you tomorrow. All right, guys. Day number two. We're out here. We got two uh, stone liners left to dig on this permission. I think this is gonna be like eight, like eight privies on this one permission. Yesterday we had a real nice Brighton jar come out right under where the tarp is. We're digging this first one here. The guys are pulling up, you know, pieces of milk glass, iron stone, pottery mix. And then this popped out. Check this out. Civil War trumpet uh, bugle. What's it called? mouthpiece a bugle mouthpiece guys that's really really neat cue the bugle all right we're gonna uh keep working on this hopefully something really good's gonna come out i was really impressed while we were cutting the plug sean remembered he said i seen this on youtube about rolling these plugs up i was like yeah on the, on the crick diggers channel <laughs> listen to him but all right guys looks like we're down to a uh, decent clay cap right now and we'll see you back on the next pull but that was a really neat find stay tuned for the action all right guys maybe about 20 minutes 15 minutes after the uh Bugle mouthpiece came out. Corey's got what looks to be a chemical bottle in the hole. Here she comes. Is that Park Davis? Machine. It's machined. Machine cork top. So we're looking right now. I mean, he hasn't even made it through the clay cap. So above the clay cap, we're looking around 1915, 1920s. Hopefully, it drops significantly down under the clay cap. But see you back. Guys, check this out. It's Sean's turned down in the hole, and he has a monster crock in the hole. Look at that, or a whiskey jug. It's got some really nice, fancy design handles on it. We don't know if it's full yet, but I'm going to sit here and record the whole dig. Just be real careful, brother, man. Make sure no rocks fall down on top of that thing. That's what I felt. Just pull that dirt back to the back of the hole for right now. That big and tall though. That's pretty neat. Even you run that rod in there, it didn't. Oh, oh it has. There was a guy. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. I'm trying to fit in this little hole here. That is wild looking, bro. It is. I've never dug one like that. I've never even seen anybody dig one like that. So this would be a first for both of us. <laughs> it happens. Quick said, you hit the drain line. <laughs> That's funny. All right, back up for a minute. Let me get you a picture of that. Look at that, guys. Wow, that is beautiful. Good golly. I think that was the deepest one we've been. It's 30 foot. 
the old brick liner, but it kept going deeper too. We just didn't have enough time to finish it. Brick liner? Mm -hmm. Oh, they had money. Oh yeah, yeah. We find them. They're in big cities a lot. I mean, we. Yeah, just around. dig right around until she's them. ready to just roll right out in your lap. Dig them, loaded with stuff. I mean, and then right before you do that, down. try to back up a little bit. That thing's beautiful. Looks full, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Uh -oh. No. That just fell no, out. That, no, that's iron. That's yeah. not from that. That's plate. Yeah, that's just around it, buddy. This is really, really exciting right here, guys. We don't know what in the world. It's getting ready to come out of the hole. I've never seen a jug like this before. Here it comes, here it comes. Live extraction, can you back up any at all? Yeah. I've been lit up pretty good. Yeah, just yeah, get it with your other hand, there you go. Don't grab by the handle. Put your finger inside the spout. Beautiful, man. Look at that, guys. That is fantastic right there. Jeez. Wow. Heck yeah, man. I don't see any stamp or anything no, on it. That's all right. It's got it's got a little bit of damage, but my lord, that thing's beautiful, Sean. That's really, really nice whiskey jug. Heck yeah, man. Check that out, guys. Number two out of the hole. Wow. It had an iron on it, bail on it. Yeah, it did. Yep, and it had and it held the stopper down inside of it. That is really, really neat, Sean. Good pull, brother. Ooh. Heck yeah, hold that thing up, and show everybody. Look at that, guys. Sean Dorsey with a beautiful whiskey jug out of the privy hole. See back. There we go. All right, Trav's got a uh, bottle down in the hole. He thinks it's a flask. I think it's just a strap side, but you never know when a bombman's gonna show itself. So let's see. Here it comes. No. Oh. It's a uh, honest measure ribbon, ribbon strap side with the ribbon slug. Those are pretty neat. Yeah, heck yeah. Well, I mean, two we got two bottles so out, two flasks. We may have another drinker's pit. Um, here, guys, I'll show you why you uh, wear gloves. <laughs> That's why you wear gloves, guys. Didn't cut me too bad, but it was more so like a stab. So I'm good, still good to dig. Even if it would've cut me bad, I'd still be digging. But, uh, all right, we'll get back all to it. All right, these. guys, we just actually popped up base to a hutch over here you guys can see check that out base to a hutch and try to got another bottle in the hole coffin flask right here little half pointer man these are never embossed mm -mm. it's a nice crude one though nice light sca color that'll turn nice and dark purple yeah that's my three I think it's whoever's turn. See you guys back on the next one. I think it's Guys, Sean has a bottle in the hole. It's some kind of a soda for sure. What is that? It might... Wow, that's a big quart something. It's a hutch. If it's a hutch, it's a quart hutch. Let me see that. Uh, Where's the pick at, Corey? Grab it. It's over here by the bag. I see it laying. What's that, Sean? Piece of insulator. Piece of insulator, yeah. Here you go, Sean. You <laughs> <laughs> don't know what's going on right now. That boy. What is down there? What's the top look like on that thing, Sean? Oh, it's a blob. It's a beer. It's a monster blob. It could be an Edward Court. When you it could be him. something insane. Well, you probably want to kill my brother. Sean, don't pick it up with that. Shoot him. You ready? Yeah. Here it comes, guys. It's a wine. It's a big wine bottle. Yeah, big wine bottle. 
None, none of the above. Pretty green though. Yeah. Pretty green wine bottle. Not a hutch, not a blob, but a bottle. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Before he's turned down in the hole, and uh, a few more things coming out here. Just popped out a nice second pipe bowl of the day. Nice TD pipe bowl there. And then a uh, STD gonorrhea cure right there. Nice little opium tube valve. You can see we're down about maybe three and a half feet, four feet. Getting under the rocks and uh, seems like there's a good bit of glass under the rocks. So hopefully some more good stuff comes out. What's that little white thing, Corey? Is that one of them little pitchers, saucer things? Yeah, that's what I meant. Broke little cup. A uh, little broken little doll cup. What is it? Oh, yeah. I, sh I don't know if I should. Yeah, Corey showed them. Three whiskey flasks so far. All right, guys. See you back. All right, guys. Corey just pulled a uh, smaller pickle from what we did last night. And then he was moving this rock out. And you can see right down in there, coning just rolled out. It comes. Awful. Yeah. No embossing. It's got three dots on the base of it. Pretty though. Nice blown and mold aqua cone ink. Okay, and then this big monster rock he's getting ready to pull out. There it comes. Yeah. Oh, about put him on the bottom. He about threw him right on top of our finds. All right, we're gonna keep on digging. See you back. Right, guys, Corey's down in the hole. And a pipe bowl with a real nice stem on it just came out there. Check that out. Heck yeah. That's the third one out of here. Just a TD again. TD brand. But that's nice. Nice long pipe stem on it. Heck yeah. See you back if anything else cool comes out. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Corey just popped out a pretty cool axe head. That's neat. Big dog right there. Has the, the hammer on the back part and the axe on the front. What? All right. See you back if anything else cool comes guys, out. Corey's got a marble in the hole, and I'm going to let him take the camera down. Yep, Orange Bennington. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty, man. It is. Wow, look at the color on that. It's almost red. Yeah, it is. It's like a red Bennington. A little bit of sweat. A little bit of sweat. Check that out, guys. Let me get in the shade here so you can actually see what's up. There we go. Look at that beauty. Big old shooter Bennington marble. Around 1890s. It's almost like a red glaze on this one. Real pretty, real good condition. Heck yeah. See if anything else cool comes out, guys. Guys, Corey's got a soda in the hole. Can you take the camera back down? Yeah. Yeah, take the camera back down. All right, you can see, well, somewhere. There it is right there. Come on, be it Brady. I don't know what it is. I think it's an Emil Ritter. And Ritter? Yeah, it is. Is it? Yep. Oh man, that's even cooler. Emil Ritter out of Lona Coning, Maryland. That is awesome right wow. there. Wow. Yes, sir. You dug one of them right next to my house. Yep. Check that out, guys. The Emil Ritter blob soda right here in Lona Coning. Oh, it's a crown top. Yeah, it is. Blown and mold crown top, 1905-1910 era. Very, very cool local piece of history out of the hole. Right there. That's what it's all about. Absolutely love it. Heck yeah. See back when anything else comes out. Guys, you can see Farmer Sean here laying the hay out on our uh, 
freshly dug privy holes. We laid grass seed down, put hay down. Asked the homeowner if it was all right. So we're gonna make their yard look all nice again for them. That is gonna do it for this week's dig. We got three privies in. You seen the ones from yesterday. Of course, I'll show everything at cleanup. But today, today was a good day. The number one bottle obviously is the Emil Ritter out of Lona County, Maryland. Just an absolutely stellar find. Third one known to exist right there, guys. Awesome, awesome. You seen the big, big whiskey jug that Sean pulled out with the cool handles and stuff on it. That's a neato right there. We got a gray granite ware pitcher, some kind of little pickle jar, a green almost teal wine bottle, a couple flasks, strap side, smaller pickle jar. You seen the two big ones we dug yesterday. This is the smaller version. Slick slug plated, honest measure. Slick slug plated. Probably another O.M. Haynes coffin flask or shoe fly, whatever you want to call it. Aqua Cone Ink. Little STD cure. Bugle mouthpiece. We ended up with two marbles, a nice shooter Bennington, almost a red glaze. We ended up with three pipe bowls today, all TDs and a little chemical jar beautiful piece of a broken crock and a big pile of i don't know if these are crystal or just glass but it was either a chandelier or like a uh, wind chime it did have a chain with it but it fell apart but you can see these things have uh have like little rings on the top of them where the chain went through got a whole pile of them right there you guys tell me is that crystal or just regular glass but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this week's digging hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching like and subscribe see you next time guys another outstanding week of digging